Hello. Welcome to the Morph Neo channel. This video is the third part of a new series on the channel, in which I introduce blockchain-based, play-to-earn game The Tan Arena. The Tan Arena is an eSport game based on blockchain technology. You can gather your friends, form a team, battle with others, and earn money with just your skills. The Tan Arena has diverse and attractive gameplay, combine MOBA, multiplayer online battle arena and battle royal. In this video, which is the last part of the series I am talking about what kind of NFTs are there in the game, what do we know about the special NFTs, like Tank, Assassin and Marksman Heroes. I will inform you about which networks is the game compatible with, I will talk about the tokenomics and the TAN treasury as well. Short disclaimer, I am not a financial advisor, this video is only for educational and entertainment purposes. Let us get started. What kind of NFTs do we have this game? The TAN Arena comes with various types and numbers of NFTs, which named heroes. Each of them has a unique special ability called Fury. Furthermore, each hero has unique stats according to their roles on the battlefield. Thus, choosing a suitable hero for each situation helps players increase the win rate in the arena of the TAN. There are three types of heroes, Tank, Marksman and Assassin. There are two different kinds of level attributes in the TAN arena which are hero level and in-game hero level. During the match, players can level up heroes from level 1 to level 10. The in-game hero's attributes will increase according to their roles. The rarity of a hero is determined by two elements, the base rarity of that hero and the rarity of its skin. Heroes with a higher rarity have more unique playstyles, abilities and will have a chance to get bonuses in battle rewards. There are three different levels of rarity, common hero, epic hero and legendary hero. Skin rarity is determined by the frequency of the skin in the selling pool. The rarer the cosmetic is, the better it looks like, with more visual effects and bonuses in battle rewards. There are three different levels of skin rarity, default skin, rare skin and mythical skin. Trophy class represents the mastery of using a hero, which means that hero has been played in thousands of matches. What do you need to know about the tank hero? Tank heroes are responsible for becoming frontlines facing up to the enemies and prevent their teammates from receiving damages. Some tank heroes are the followings, Vanker, Errant Ghost, Breaker, Lucy Muffy, Maiko and Conkey. What do you need to know about the assassin hero? Assassins are deadly and silent killers who can engage the fight, eliminate the target in a single combo, and retreat without being noticed. Some assassin heroes are the followings, Rhydon, Serp, Ray, Mortal, El Dragon, Velvet, Mary, Taekwon, and Duras. What do you need to know about the marksman hero? Marksmans are the main damage dealers and are responsible for maintaining the DPS amount during the fight. Some marksman heroes are the followings, Morod, Cluster, Steelshot, Destroyed, Benjamin, Shana, Phoenix, Big Papa, Kulian, and Bathos. Heroes in the Tan Arena have different GTHC battles and daily GTHC battles depending on the rarity of heroes and skins. Upgrading heroes is essential and brings great benefits to owners, including increased strength and GTHC battles. What do you need to know about the skills in addition to choosing a hero? Before joining the battlefield, players are requested to select two skills. Each skill belongs to a different kind of skill sets, which requires players to make decisions more carefully to use them effectively. Skills in the TAN arena are categorized into three different skill sets based on their main attributes. Each skill set is also divided into three different levels of rarity which are default, rare and mythical. Three skill sets include, effect skill, inflicting status on self, allies, and enemies. Damage skill, used to greatly increase the amount of damage in a short period. Support skill, aiding you against attacks of enemies. Which networks is the game compatible with? The TAN Arena is running on Binance Smart Chain blockchain. Before you start playing the game you need to register on the website, need to create a Wolfun account and you need to connect your MetaMask wallet to Binance Smart Chain Network. Tokenomics and the TAN Treasury 
their goal with $THG and $THC is to use this as economic incentives to encourage users to participate in the ecosystem activities. The mechanisms described above have two main goals. To reward players for interacting with the TAN arena while incentivizing them to utilize tokens for transaction so as to create an internal circulating economy. To decentralize the ownership and governance of the TAN arena. How does the business model look like? All of the revenue streams of the TAN arena, for example, marketplace fee, fees for evolving heroes will go into two ways. 1. X% percent will go to company to keep developing the TAN arena to be allocated towards all active contributors proportionate to their contributions. 2. Y% percent will go to the TAN treasury to be allocated towards all active contributors proportionate to their contributions. To develop a self-sustainable, closed-loop economy, the treasury would be redistributed as incentives for active contributors interacting within the ecosystem. All users must participate in the development of the game in order to receive rewards. Eventually, once governance is introduced and the network decentralized, the parameters and conditions for allocations to the various groups will be determined by governance, and no centralized party will be able to unilaterally control such aspects. The Treasury receives inflows from the TAN NFT marketplace transaction, from ecosystem fee, from selling heroes, the TAN box, cosmetics, and in-game consumables. Roadmap Furthermore, the game developers are going to balance the tokenomics and, at the same time, start creating more engagement with various target audiences, including gamers, guilds, streamers, and investors. The new roadmap has phases with appropriate adjustments. For example, new cosmetic system, mini games, guild system, the TAN eSport, or social system. The game has future plan for avatar hero, avatar pets, new PvE modes and avatar objects as well. What team is behind the game? The TAN Arena team brings together members who are both prominent and experienced in the field of game development as well as blockchain technology. The game development team is founded in 2014 under the name of Wolf Fun, with a specialty in online PvP games for mobile platforms. They started small with only four members developing casual games. Since 2015, they have been concentrating more on the midcore action genre and have published Tank Raid Online, their very first game title in the action genre. The game has been a success attracting more than 5 million players to date. It is still known and loved worldwide and has achieved many prizes since its launch, including Google Editor's Choice. The team all share the burning passion for video games and dedicate their lives to making unique mobile games that can bring the best experiences to their users. Through their mutual love for games, they are connected as a team and have developed a habit of doing other wonderful things together. Useful links I would like to draw your attention to a couple of useful pages about the game. Game page, the website of the The Tan Arena eSport game platform and the documentation of The Tan Arena. NFT assets, the already mentioned heroes can be purchased from this website. Wolf Fund support page. The official Telegram sites of The Tan Arena. The official Twitter site. The official Facebook site. The Tan Arena Twitch site. YouTube channel site and Discord site. Cohen Market Cup, where you can check the price and other important metrics about the, the TAN Arena's tokens, THC and THG. Summary I hope this video has helped you navigate your way around the game The TAN Arena. To sum it up The TAN Arena is an eSport game based on blockchain technology. You can gather your friends, form a team, battle with others and earn token rewards with just your skills. The TAN Arena's gameplay is designed to revolve around the combination of your personal skills and teamwork. Challenge yourself with various game modes, MOBA and Battle Royale, coming with monthly updates and attractive rewards. All in all, this game looks to be a very promising one and we are looking forward to seeing what will happen to it on the long run. If you like this video, please subscribe to the Morph Neo channel and drop a thumb up. See you next time in the next gaming or tutorial video. Bye.